What's up guys, it's your boy Darskin, and today I'm going to be telling you guys um, which is the best outfit to get for Lost Vein Meliodas. Now, uh, I know a lot of you guys have actually been asking, uh, you know, which one is the best one, if I, you know, I can only get one skin, which skin should I get, blah, 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 this, this, and that, etc, etc. So, uh, we will be talking about the stats and everything like that, and how they, you know, play into his character and stuff like that. Um... Now, I do want to start out by, you know, saying, um, best case scenario is you get all of his outfits. Because Las Vegas Meliodas doesn't get any more outfit. He has no outfits on JP. Well, he's actually going to be getting one soon on JP, which is going to be like a um, fantasy outfit or whatever. But you realize how, like, that's been what, like six months since Las Vegas came out? Um, it's been a long time since Las Vegas came out. Not to mention... Right, if you didn't get these outfits, you're probably not getting that one. You might get it, but l long story short, right? I mean, best case scenario is you just get all his outfits. Let's that's just best case scenario. Um, anyway, so let's go ahead and look at all his outfits. Um, number one, he has this outfit, which is buyable, the one I have on. This outfit, which is buyable. This was a free outfit that um, you were able to get with. Um, There's like a a boss you can't get it anymore long story short right if you didn't get it you can't get it sorry um this is also a buyable outfit so these three are the buyable outfits this is his ssr outfit and this is his ur outfit now as far as weapons this is his normal weapon which i like this one the best um this is his affinity reward all right level five affinity you get you get this weapon so let's go ahead and go back yeah, so this is his affinity reward, which they all clip the back, but none of them really look good with this outfit. This is the outfit that goes with the green hoodie, and which and all the weapons are the same. All the weapons don't change. It's literally just the holster that changes. So, um, yeah. Anyways, this holster goes with the. Um, this one goes with the uh, the cooking outfit. And then this is the um, the scabbard for this outfit, but it doesn't it doesn't match it honestly in my opinion. Like it just doesn't like it's a different color. I don't know. I just like using this one. Anyways, going for a cosme head cosmetics. You have the normal one, you have the green outfit one, you have the this one. This is this outfit's headpiece, which is ugly, and then you have the baker outfit. Right? Those are all of his cosmetics. Now, like I said on on JP. He will be getting um, a fantasy outfit. It's it literally just shut up in patch notes today. So um, I mean, he already has five UR cosmetics on on this, so that's fine. Um, but he's going to be getting a, a UR weapon, which he needs, and then he'll be getting a UR headpiece, well, a headpiece, which he will also need because he only has four. So um, you know, getting every single one of them is not even going to max him out necessarily. He'll have five pieces, but still one SSR. This will finally be a UR piece, and then he already has five, uh, five UR pieces of this. So, you know, there you go. But anyways, the question is, what is the best outfits? So we're going to go over each of them, right? Which, we're, we're going to go over each of them, but we're also going to talk about the payable ones, because those, those are the ones we're talking about. Obviously, SSR is just automatically worse, right? SSR is worse because the base stat is lower. Now, for UR, all the base stats are the same. So, we're going to talk about, uh, you know, the payable outfits. So, starting out, this one has 4% resistance, 1 crit resistance. Really good. This one has 4% resistance, 1 crit defense. Now, um, if you guys don't know, crit resistance is better than crit defense. And the reason why is because... Crit resistance stops you from getting hit with a crit. Um, crit defense stops you from taking as much damage after you get hit with a crit. But in Meliodas' case, you do want to be hit with a crit. So crit resistance is better generally. But for Meliodas, who wants to get hit with a crit, crit defense would be better. So um, as far as these two... This one's already, well, it's 1%, right? Let's be real. Like, it's 1%, but it's a little bit better. This is free, but 4% resistance, amazing. Um, and then this one is just horrible. Crit resistance, crit defense. You Base resistance is is what you want. 
number one, right? Resistance is the best defensive related stat in the game, right? Obviously, like defense is the base stat, but resist like related stats. Anyway, so you know, no, no resistance. This one's not even that good. Um, and then two percent resistance. This one can't compete. So out of these two, the green hoodie is a little bit better because it's giving you one percent to your crit defense, and this one's giving one percent to your crit resistance. All right, so the the hoodie is a little bit better now let's go to the weapons though um this one is the free one crit damage four percent that's whatever this is the one you get from your affinity you know crit chance one percent crit uh damage six that's whatever the baker one is crit chance two crit damage two not that good the green out the green hoodie outfit is pierce rate two percent crit damage three percent and then the um, this red outfit is pierce rate 3%, crit damage 2%. So these two are two sides of the same coin, right? 2% pierce rate, crit damage 3. This was 3% pierce rate, crit damage 2. So these weapons are just about the same, right? So you can go ahead and mark those off as the same, basically. Moving on to the, um, la the headpiece. This is the normal headpiece which gives recovery rate, which is kind of whatever. The Baker headpiece, regeneration 3%, life still 1. Not that good. Now, the green hoodie one, recovery rate 6, regeneration rate 1. Um, okay. Now, the red outfit that I have on is regeneration rate 1, life still 3%. Lost Vein is going to be wanting life still and regeneration rate because he's gonna he's gonna be life still a lot like my my lost veins life still is is 16 percent not to mention with zeldris it goes up by 12 percent so um it's safe to say that he's gonna be life stealing a lot so having life still on him and regeneration rate is not that bad regeneration rate three percent life still one uh regeneration rate one percent life still three which this is a lot better than that one and then recovery rate six percent like like the head pieces are kind of whatever they're all kind of eh like this one's probably the better one because it has the highest life still but these are all kind of eh you know these are you know whatever as far as the weapons these two are kind of two sides of one coin it's literally one percent crit damage or one percent pierce rate both of them are going to increase your damage a lot you know you know after you multiply it in so that's whatever the biggest difference which these are kind of, you know, whatever as well, is crit defense and then crit resistance, which they're both 1% as well. So long story short, the Baker outfit is horrible. Choose between the red outfit or the green outfit because the red outfit, although it gives one crit resistance, like that 1% is probably not going to matter. Like 1%, like let's let's be real, okay? Um, crit defense, 1%, let's be real. Then these two are just... To, they're basically the same weapon let's let's be 100 percent and then the, the head pieces you know this one's not as good like this one has life steal you know but you know this one it, long story short if you like the green one pick the green one if you like the red one pick the red one i like the red outfit better this is what i wear on my meliotis but i know a lot of people like the green outfit better um they both cost the same amount the stats aren't too different or too crazy. Um, the Baker Alpha is just literally this is just here as a cosmetic because the the skit the um, stats for this Baker outfit are not good, right? On across the board, it's just not good. Um, so a lot of you guys were wondering which outfits to you know what should you buy if you only can get one. The best two are the red one and the green one. And at that point, you just pick what you want. So, you know, um, there you go. Now, like I said, best case scenario is you get all of them. Um, the fantasy out, the fantasy outfit on JP. That we don't know what the stats are or whatever. But let's be real, right? We're going to be getting cosmetic upgrades. Once cosmetic upgrades come out, all five of these should be a hundred percent maxed. So you're not even gonna. These should all be a hundred percent. These four should be a hundred percent. And these three should be 100%. So you're already going to be 100%ing your outfits once we get Hell Demon, ra the Hell Raids, 
um you know so like that's just what it is so there you go but anyways that's gonna be it for this video be sure to give it a like subscribe to the channel if you're new comment down below tell me if you guys in the comment section with that being said i'll see you guys next time peace